king without actually touching. A team starts by standing behind their own baseline and throwing the six throwing sticks at the Cubs lined up on the other team's baseline. The aim is to try to knock over as many as pos of these as possible. Once the team has thrown all its throwing sticks, uh, the other team, take, team takes its turn. Standing behind its baseline, it throws the Cubs knocked over by the first team into their half of the pitch. Once all the toppled Cubs have been successfully thrown onto the opposing side of the pitch, the first team stands these up wherever they have come to rest. These are known as field Cubs. The second then takes his turn to throw the throwing sticks. They must, however, knock over the enemy field cups on the opposing team side of the pitch before attacking the base cups on the baseline. Should any base caps be knocked over before the last field cups has fallen, these base caps should be placed upright against uh, without penalty. Should one team have failed to knock over all of the field caps on the other team's side of the pitch, the opposite team may stand in line with the field cap closest to the king and throw the throwing sticks. This does not apply when throwing the caps as these must be always be thrown from behind the team's baseline. Turns until one team knocks over all of the field and base caps on the opposite side of the pitch. They may then attack the king with any remaining throwing sticks. Uh, when attacking the king, the throw must always stand behind the baseline. If the team then succeeds knocking over the king, that team wins the set.
Mexico Cool. 